Hi Shoebox friends! This is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I share everything related to Operation Christmas Child. Today I have another unboxing for you. Uh, this time it's a collaboration with my friend Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. Val reached out and asked if I'd like to collaborate and I said sure. I love collaborations. They're so much fun. You basically just pick a theme and then you don't tell the other person the age range or whether it's for a boy or a girl. And then it's fun to see how each of us interprets the theme. If you're coming here after seeing Val's video, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And if you are here first, be sure to head over to Val's channel and watch her video after this one. I will put a link to her video in my description below. This is a penguin themed shoebox. Penguins are one of my favorite birds. I think I do a penguin box every year. I love penguins. They just make me smile. And I'm calling this box Happy Feet because it is a movie that I loved featuring one of my favorite uh, actors, Robin Williams. This box is for a girl aged two to four. So let's take a look at what I packed. I'm using a Sterilite container from Walmart and my label is here on this end and I put this little valentine on the top and it is um, taped covered in tape so that if the processing tape goes over here it is protected the box is wrapped in this um, bandana that has cute little penguins on it you can see that all right so let's open it up and I packed this in February of 2022 so that same penguin that it was on the top, I double-sided it on the back. And when she opens her box, this is what she'll see popping up at her. Sweet. So her first wow is, of course, this cute little penguin wearing these little um, earmuffs. So sweet. Um, it says 2021 on it, which is fine. And it was in my stash, so I don't remember where I got it from, but it's very cute, very cuddly, and very sweet. She also has a little penguin purse. This is a Thai penguin purse. I think I got these on clearance from Walgreens a while ago. And inside her purse, she has a pretty sparkly bracelet. I've given her a cup from Ikea. And inside her cup is this pinky ball, and I get these from Dollar General. She has a hygiene kit. In here she has a washcloth, one of those nice soft washcloths from Amazon. She has a lip balm, and this lip balm actually has penguins on it. You can see that. I also gave her a magic towel, a penguin magic towel. Then she has soap, a nail file, and nail clippers. I've given her some penguins to play with. That's a cute one. I think this was from Target Dollar Spot. And this is a small Fisher Price one to play with. And then just because I thought they needed another friend. I gave her a polar bear. She has a um, pencil sharpener and inside the sharpener I've given her a cross from Oriental Trading that's on a lanyard. And I just pack it inside the pencil sharpener to use that space up. Alright, I gave her a necklace. It has like a little penguin block on it. But I wanted to show you, originally I made a penguin, um, like a peg doll penguin on a necklace. It turned out really cute, but I worried that the pieces were too small for a two to four in case this were to come off of the, um, the ribbon. I worried that this one in particular might be a choking hazard. So I didn't include him, but I'll include him in a box next year. 
um, that may be for a five to nine. But this turned out fine. This is one of those stringing blocks and I think she'll like that. She has two pair of underwear. These are size four. She has a sparkly green brush. She has some red jingle bells. These were at the Dollar Tree last Christmas. She has some crayons, crazy art crayons. Her coloring book and her doodle pad. This is just a red doodle pad with blank pages for stickers. And I put a little penguin sticker on the front. And her coloring book was actually from a Christmas play pack that I got on clearance from Target a few years ago. And it has some nice Christmassy type pictures inside for her to color. So really cute. And there's a penguin right on the front. I've given her this little penguin tin. Oh, I lost my ponytail holder that was around it. Looks like this. And inside the tin are all of her hair accessories. So I've included some ponytail holders, some cute 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 little hair bows, a beaded necklace, some hair ribbon, and some hair clips. She has a book that's called If You Were Penguin by Wendell and Florence Minor. It's really cute and it's, I'll read a couple pages. It says, if you were a penguin, what could you do? You could fly underwater or sing a duet. You could live on the land, but really get wet. So just really pretty illustrations. I think she'll really like that. I think this was a Coles Cares book. Okay, underneath that, I have two click pens for her that I put in a pencil bag. She has a pair of scissors. She has a cute little pair of fuzzy socks, kind of like slipper socks with penguins on them. All right, this is her outfit. This is a dress made by Bev Brees. I'm sure all of you have heard of Bev. She has a, um, a group of ladies that make these dresses and they will trade you for items for the dresses and last year I traded some things for some beautiful dresses and one of them was this cute little penguin dress that has a heart pocket so this is like a pillowcase dress with some cute little lace at the top and here's the ties but really really cute so thanks Bev this was a perfect addition for this box and these dresses pack really easily in a shoebox. To go with her dress, oh, there it is, it fell out. I gave her a little stretchy headband and I put a red bow on it to match. I made her a ribbon dancer, kind of a Christmassy ribbon dancer with some reds and greens. Um, for her dress, I've also given her a pair of little biker shorts to wear underneath her dress, just for some modesty. She has a half composition book with a penguin on the front. That was from Walmart. She has a big glue stick from Staples. This is our card to her. It says for a sweet girl. And of course the card is a penguin. And it has our photo and our letter on the inside. She has a sticker face, Christmas sticker face book. These I think were from Big Lots, if I remember correctly. But a cute little penguin right on the front. These are so fun. They just have faces and then they have stickers for them to make the faces. So really cute. There's the penguin.
She has two toothbrushes, a red one and a green one. I've given her a whole book of stickers and that's to match her polar bear friend. There's a polar bear right on the front. So inside there are polar bear and penguin stickers. And I don't remember where I got that from, but that was perfect addition to the box. On the side, she has a little Christmas bag. It says Merry Christmas, a little muslin bag. And inside she has a set of matching cards, a card game. And I don't remember, it looks like maybe I got it from Dollar General, but really cute. I wanted to show you the card game out of the box because it's really cute. It just has some cute Christmas characters and um, figures for her to match up. Really sweet. On the bottom, she has a drawstring bag to carry her things home in. And I think it's just a plain, yeah, just a plain like Christmas bag. It has snowflakes on it. I think I got this the year before um, from Amazon. She has a spoon from Ikea. And her pencil case is on the side there. And inside her pencil case, she has an eraser and several pens and pencils, jumbo Ticonderogas, uh, some novelty Christmas pencils, and a gripper on one of those pencils. So that completes my unboxing for a girl aged two to four with a penguin theme, collaboration with my friend Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. Be sure to head over to Val's channel to watch her unboxing as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and watch these videos. I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoy packing for Operation Christmas Child. God bless all of you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.